beta, banana, complete with new custom skin editor guys, MCPE, Bedrock, beta, 1.13.0.15, out now. Change log coming right up. Hey there guys, Skippy here for Skippy 6 Gaming. Guys, coming to you with what you might recognize because this is the world where I continue to come one by one through the beta change logs and tell you all about them. Guys, we have a really cool beta today. This beta includes the actual skin changer thingamabobby. And yes, it's a super cool, super cool thing. So let's, let's do this right here and let's just jump in here. Let's just go like this. And you can see, actually, let's just go here right there bang you can see we have it right here we're gonna go into it and test out everything full tilt after we go through the change log there are a few other changes and one of the big ones is they've really 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 changed the way that hostile mobs spawn including those like you know packs of uh of drowns that end up all over your world super weird and messing up your mob cap so for this one here let's just go for 500 and 443 likes I let you guys off 100 likes. How easy is that, guys? If we do that, everything will be awesome. So let's just start this with the first tweet. We have Jay Mega Spud. So Jay is in charge of these. Jay puts out these tweets. You can see there has been a tweet right here. And uh, yeah, so you can see he kind of mentions it. They tweaked hostile mob despawning in this update. And even though it's a small adjustment, it is a step in the right direction for mob spawning in general. So please send your feedback. I do have a tweet linked in the description below where you can send feedback about stuff like this to uh, Jay. And uh, yeah, it should help him out. So let me go in. I'm going to read the change log to you and then we're going to come back and start messing with some of the stuff. And let's go ahead and jump into it right now, guys. Minecraft Bedrock Beta 1.13.0.15 out now, guys. There is a lot of rules right here that are going to tell you what to do and what not to do. I have a link in the description below that tells you how to join the beta, how to leave the beta, and a bunch of specifics about the beta and some links to give your feedback about bugs so that's easy way to do it do not open your worlds that you love in the beta if you do not want to keep them in the next update because uh, you will not be able to open them again after you come out of this beta so new features guys this is the big one right here introducing the minecraft character creator personalize your avatar in a number of ways including body size shape limb replacement and tweaking of eyes mouth hairstyles and colors facial hair and skin tones more than 100 items will be available for free this will also be a range of custom accessories created by the minecraft team available for purchase sounds like skins to me and uh, yeah so uh, the character creator is currently available for, to beta testers but will also be roll out to minecraft earth as well and other bedrock platforms like ios and nintendo switch once the beta has concluded which is not far away guys not far away at all uh, the traditional custom skins can be still imported as before on windows 10 and mobile using the following steps profile edit character so Long story short is you can make these skins and uh, you can use them just like the olden days. Simple as that, guys. So down the list, page two fixes. Fix several, uh, cra several crashes that could occur during gameplay. Fix a crash that would occur after eating or drinking a single item. This is one I heard about so much. People are like, skipping my game crashes when I eat bread. Uh, yeah, so fix the crash that related to evocation fang animation. Fix a crash that could occur when trying to apply texture pack with custom size Q map. Fix a crash that could occur when being attacked by an elder guardian. Crash that could occur when losing an internet connection whilst uh, downloading a marketplace packed. Whilst is the word of the day. Made future optimization improvements by removing unused vanilla textures. Mob spawners and cave spiders will no longer show error logs and crash the game. General fixed an issue that was preventing custom skins from being applied. This is still going on. I'm pretty sure. I, I don't know. I feel like it did this when I logged on today uh, and it kind of kind of lagged my game i don't know let's let's just review that later uh jillager is a map i guess from a map download yeah uh changes profession correctly via the traveling trader marketplace map added a new option and accessibility settings that will allow users not to enable text to speech when their platform has it enabled this should prevent the screen reader from unexpectedly being enabled each time the player restarts the game free skins now roam between devices correctly again this is one of those things they are kind of having an issue with so gameplay added suspicious stew tray to farmer villagers fixed an issue with crafting various tools that were missing in the crafting book oh i almost yawned right there that's a first for a video recently and uh, eating coarse flute now teleports the player correctly again so let's keep going mobs they supposedly fixed mob spawning big time on this one so fixed various mob head animations so they are facing the correct direction when sitting 
Pillagers raiding Ravagers now sit correctly when celebrating a raid victory. Or Pillagers riding Ravagers correctly. Uh, tweaked drowned despawning rules to help prevent too many being present in the over. Yeah, that's a thing. Drowned will now despawn if the following conditions is not are met. The player is at least 54 blocks away. The drown has not performed any actions in 30 seconds, and it is daytime. So this is good. That's going to clear those pools of drown that happen. Uh, fix panna animation leash positioning. So easy enough. Let's keep going. Uh, blocks barrier blocks once again. Transmit redstone correctly. Uh, leaves destroyed by explosions no longer leave an invisible block behind. Items elytra. Broken Elytra now have the correct texture again. Uh, Elytra once again lose durability through use. Chorus Fruit is now back in the correct inventory tab. Semi-transparent blocks are no longer fully opaque. That's pretty a pretty uh, intense uh, English language word sentence right there. Wow. Uh, book items show their descriptions again correctly when trading with Librarian Villager. Fixed a bug that was preventing the chat history from being scrolled through. F graphical fixes fix the shading direction for clouds. The camera transition between standing and swimming is now smooth again. Fixed an issue that could uh, cause the UI to flicker when playing split screen multiplayer. Uh, leads attached to mobs no longer appear to be floating in the air. Commands. Cauldrons will now have correct filled underscore level data when placed with the set block command. Add ons and script engine. The gas look at player behavior is no longer hard coded. Fix an issue that meant entities Minecraft is stackable tag could not push into each other into and through full blocks. Custom projectiles. Entities now have their physics defined in a pack without having to override vanilla behavior. So let's jump in and test out some of this fun stuff. Okay, so as you can see, the two major ones there that stand out for me is really the mob despawning with regards to drowns in the little pockets. Because every once in a while, you see these pictures on Twitter and you see pictures where areas like this, you know, all of a sudden will get a whole bunch of drowned in them. Next thing you know, there's like a hundred drowns standing there and you're not getting any cows or nothing to eat or nothing because your mob cap is reached. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's no fun not good the good thing have is that they fixed it so let's go into the big thing here guys what everybody wants to see is this character trader my bobby edit character so let's go up here and let's start with a steve i think or wait no let's go over here there we go so this guy right here create character right there we're gonna go in so it started with this one even though i wanted to start with a different one but that's okay that's okay Let's go here. Let's see what's here. Owned, purchasable. So these are all the purchasable skins. So I guess they're looking at different skins that you could just buy. I must own some somewhere along the along the line. Uh, it's going a little bit slow, if you ask me. Um, oh, I'm out of it. So own skins. So that's good because... So if I want to go around, that's the best way, I guess, is I want to go around like this. So I guess we hold up now we go over so let's see what skin so i do own skin packs that's good let's go over here and let's change this up so body and style so base let's see so there's going to be 100 free stuff so i think what i can tell you is no matter what you say guys I'm, and I'm, I'm a positive person with regards to minecraft uh this is just them finding a way to sell you skins like because before they sold them to you but now what they're going to do is make it so you can customize your character you're going to be able to customize your character. Uh, put this one here and this one here. So you can see even the base looks a little different. You see in the background, you can see around the mouth. Uh, around the mouth there changes big time. You can see like it just gets the skin base, it's different colors. So it's really, really interchangeable. So let's keep going. Let's put this one here. So you can see there's like a bearded one. So let's go back. Eyes. Let's see which different ones there are. So there's going to be tons of different eyes. So long story short is, yeah. It looks like they give, they want to give, oh, so we can even color up the eyes. So like we can make the eyes pink, green, blue. Okay. So then back out of this, back out of this eyes, and then go to the eyes. You can have a mono eye. You can have big anime type eyes, but those are covered by the hair. So you can see that those are covered by the hair. So if you do these ones here, see how they're not covered by the hair? Oh, this is very interesting. These are diamond eyes. So I guess after that, if you wanted to, you could go over here. And then what you do is, I think maybe you're gonna go in and you're gonna switch the eyes again. 
So you got to keep backing out of this menu. So basically what's going to happen here is they're going to keep selling you. You're going to get sold eyes after this now. So after these basic versions of eyes right here are done, there's going to be new ones that you can buy. And then people will be like, oh, 99 cents for this kind of lips or mouth or whatever it is. It's pretty cool, actually. I'm kind of enjoying... I'm kind of enjoying this. Uh, I think it's a really cool addition. I do feel it's a little weird, like big grin. So yeah, wow. So it just shows you how much you can mess up a skin uh, if you really wanted to. Let's see if there's beards. Let's see if there's beards. So yeah, there's, a, oh, there is a little bit of a beard. My character is getting so deranged. Oh my gosh. I'm almost gonna make this character just because. So let's keep going. Let's keep going, arms. Oh, the left and the right arm are set up, so, uh... So it kind of has to be double tap to go in, if you didn't notice that. So we could do... Oh, so you have to buy this one. So there's a perfect example. Rosebush arms. What? Rosebush arms cost $2.50? That's Canadian. So in American, you know exactly, that's probably $1.99 US, I'm assuming. Uh, 240 micro what, for rosebush arms. Are you crazy? These guys are nuts. I got to screenshot this because I'm going to rant on Twitter. I'm going to be like, what are you guys? Are you guys sick in the head? $2.50 for an arm? These guys are crazy. Uh, so yeah, there'll be none of those arms. Let's just put regular arms. Let's just put regular arms. Let's go back up here. And uh, let's go to the right arm and let's just go to... Uh, uh, let's make them different just cuz there you go fence post arms. Okay. Wow guys two dollars and fifty cents for an arm Let's go. Let's see. So it's it's showing you basically how it's gonna work if you want that basic stuff uh, You're gonna have so you see what we have to do is we have to go in twice Did you notice that every time in order we have to go in go back out go back in so? Peg leg one. And let's go over here. And let's do right leg peg leg two. this one here <laughs> This is gonna be my new character I'm not joking. And size. Oh, you can make it half size so you can cheat at PvP. Oh, no height. Yeah, see? So let's make it small. Oh, how cool is that? Or big? No, we're not going to make it big. Actually, I like it big. Arm size. I think these are stubby arms. So let's make the arms stubbier. Yeah, sure. Why not? I like that. Style. Wow, top. So this is kind of like the way the arms go. Okay, so I get it. So I think that... I think I want to be do doing this. That's good. I like that. Since it's free. Since Skippy... Skippy can't afford to have no fans of clothes. Uh, bottom. Let's see what's going on here. So these are just the way the legs are shaped. Outerwear. This is a whole other thing. Capes probably are here. Outerwear, I'm assuming. So let's keep going here. Capes. This one's taking a while to load. So outerwear doesn't seem to load. I'm I'm honestly betting that it's capes. I, I have to imagine it's capes unless they have back items. So that might be capes. What is that? A tail? I think that's a tail. So we have to go back in and back out. I'm betting that's a tail. That's a wolf's tail, yeah. A dollar thirty for a wolf's tail. Hilarious face item. So I think you guys get the gist of this. We could jump back into the game. There's sunglasses here. So let's go back down here. And it doesn't let me actually do. It does something weird with the eyes there, but you know what we're gonna do? This character has been saved. This is my new character. Let's go ahead. Let's go to resume game. So is this my actual character now? Let's go to resume game. Oh, it is! It is! Look at my that's my new character. So let's do this for the th let's do this for the thumbnail. Because I want everybody to know that I am the, the king of the land with my new character right here. Guys, don't forget to smash that like before you go. Don't forget as well to subscribe to my channel for, uh, yeah, cool tutorials, let's plays, and crazy bedrock beta stuff. Guys, you know 
that you are going to want to fiddle with this. This is pretty cool stuff. I like it. I think it's a really good idea. And uh, yeah, smash the like before you go subscribe and I'll catch you on the next one.